In this video, we will demonstrate how Designer supports 2.5D as a core workflow with the 2.5D layer and 2.5D asset. 2.5D bridges the gap between traditional 2D video plates and full 3D generative scenes. By building up a scene with layers of images or video plates, with the possibility to add depth or shaping to the plates, users can quickly create a realistic looking scene with Parallax. The Designer 2.5D workflow supports sharing 2.5D scenes between designer projects and integration with external content creation tools and workflows. Let's get started. A 2.5D scene will work for any 3D mapping. This could be an AR front plate on a camera or a 3D perspective map. However, an MR setback plate is the most common for virtual production. Open D3 Manager and create a new project and create an LED screen, a camera and add both components to an MR set. Once our stage is set up, we can start to compose our 2.5D scene. The 2.5D scene can either be composed from scratch or created by importing an already composed 2.5D scene that has been exported from another designer project or exported from a content creation tool such as Kubrick. First, we will show you how to import a pre-composed scene. Pre-composed 2.5D scenes are contained in a zip file with the custom file extension 2P5D. The 2P5D file contains all the 2.5D media assets a metadata file that describes the plate composition and optionally 3D depth data or 3D meshes to give shape to the plates. Copy your 2P5D file into the folder called 2P5D file, which is in the project's object folder. 2.5D scenes are housed in a dedicated 2.5D layer, which understands the concept of a 2.5D asset. Add a 2.5D layer to the timeline. Either right click on the timeline or use Control L. When the selector opens at the top of the content tab, you will see the newly added 2.5D layer. Once selected, this will open the layer editor with three distinct fields. The preview window, the asset selector, and the default tab, which includes some common layer properties. To add our 2.5D file, left click on the asset field in the 2.5D layer to open the selector. The 2.5D file should appear in the list of assets and once selected, it will load and make it visible in my stage view. If this is not available on my screen, then under the mapping property, I should select the desired mapping. And in this case, this will be the MR set backplate. And if I move the camera, I will see the parallax in the camera view. In the center of the stage view, you will see a movable wireframe cube, which represents the scene origin of the 2.5D asset. To edit to the 2.5D asset, right click on the asset in the layer editor, and this will open the asset editor. The 2.5D asset is an object, which can have its offset and rotation set by changing the values in the editor or moving the cube in the visualizer. Doing so moves all the plates to change the origin point of the 2.5D scene. It is recommended that the origin is set roughly in the middle of the range of movement of the camera to achieve the most realistic looking parallax. The field of view and maximum depth fields can be adjusted to scale the total area encompassed by the 2.5D scene. This can be used to ensure that the edges of the plates are not seen when moving the camera within its expected range. Plates can be added to or removed from the asset using the plus or minus buttons in the plates field. Plates are ordered by depth and reordering the plates in the list will update the plates depth to reflect their new positions in the visualizer. The import export settings can be used to load or save 2P5D files. When loading files that contain depth maps, the depth map minimum override setting can be used to change the minimum distance from the origin, represented by full white in the depth map. To modify an individual plate, right click on any plate in the list. The plate depth can be changed by modifying the Z offset value or by dragging the plate in the visualizer. 
If the option Scale with Depth is ticked, the scale and XY offsets will automatically be adjusted with depth so that the plate looks the same when viewed from the asset origin. If Scale with Depth is unticked, the scale and XY offsets will not change, so the plate will appear smaller as it moves further away. By default, new plates will be scaled to match the total field of view of the asset. However, the scale values can be adjusted in the 2.5D plate editor to change the scale. Similarly, the X and Y offsets can be adjusted to move the plate position. The plate's mesh can be changed to add depth to a layer and make the parallax effect more realistic. Some 2P5D files will contain depth maps, which will be converted to meshes when importing. To remove the depth from the plate, the standard rectangle mesh can be selected instead. The plate layer stack is used to set up the layers appearing on the plate. To quickly add an image or video to the plate, use the Add Video button. Otherwise, layers can be created as normal and stacked to create effects such as blur or color adjust. Note that these layers can't be keyframed. See Advanced Workflows for methods to keyframe layers on plates. To reload the asset from the file and overwrite any local changes, click Reload from File under Import Export in the 2.5D Asset Editor. To compose a new 2.5D scene from scratch, you can either choose to create a new 2.5D asset under the asset field of this 2.5D layer, or we may also create these assets from a blank layer. To do this, add a new 2.5D layer to the timeline. Click on the asset field in the 2.5D layer and create a new 2.5D asset by giving it a name and pressing OK. In the editor that opens, under the Settings tab, navigate to the Plates section and click on the plus symbol to add a new plate. For organization, you may want to name your plates in order of their appearance in the visualizer. In this case, I will name the plate Sky and press OK. You can see that this has generated a list with a set distance in meters from the origin point in my stage view. Once the editor opens, I can then navigate to the layer stack option and select either a video or an image to the plate. In this case, I will select the sky plate as my background layer. I can then use the properties tab to change the offset, scale and rotation to move this content into place. Repeat the same process and continue adding plates and modifying their properties until the desired scene composition is achieved. The content can then be finessed for its overall look and composition through the eye of the MR set camera. We can then take these finished assets and export them for use in other projects. To export the asset for use in other projects, click Export to File under Import Export in the 2.5D Asset Editor. The exported 2P5D file will appear under Objects 2P5D file in the Project folder. The 2.5D layer and assets are designed to provide a user-friendly way to quickly create 2.5D scenes that are portable between projects. The standard workflow should allow for the majority of use cases. However, more advanced workflows can also be achieved by combining 2.5D assets with other tools in Designer. Generally, images, videos, and effects should be added to plates using the plate layer stack. However, this does not allow for keyframing within these layers. To keyframe content on plates, layers should be added to the timeline as normal. Content can be mapped to 2.5D plates from the timeline as any other display. 2.5D assets and plates are both objects, so it is possible to animate them from the timeline or parent assets to other objects which are controlled using tracking data. The stage render layer, which was used for 2.5D workflows prior to R26.3, still functions as it did previously, so it is still possible to use the old workflow if desired.